a lot of people who are opposed to marriage equality are using arguments about the rights of the child, think of the children, etc. And that really is such a furphy because that ship has already sailed. Long ago, we got uh, law reform that meant that same-sex couples could access fertility treatment, that two mums were both on a child's birth certificate. So we've got same-sex families out there, but there's other areas of the law that really need updating. And one of them is about uh, protecting the rights of children to know their diblings. Diblings, not a well-known word, but it's short for donor siblings. Sperm donors are allowed to conceive up to 10 children. So there are potentially 10 different families out there, all with the same donor who's donated the sperm. So they are half brothers and sisters or diblings. And the law in Victoria was recently reformed in a world first, to allow children to contact their donors, even if those donors were promised anonymity at the time they made the donation. But what we don't have yet is a legal regulatory framework that allows them to contact their diblings. One of the problems with Australia being a federation is that we have incredibly inconsistent processes and regimes in the different jurisdictions. So we need a, a consistent approach across all the states and territories that sets up this register that says you can put your details on there if you want to contact donor siblings and if we have information about them we'll reach out to them and ask them, invite them to, uh, to have contact with you. If they say no then it goes no further. Nobody's going to be forced to have a relationship they don't want. There's been research out of America that in fact donor conceived children are more interested in contacting their diblings than they are their donor. Possibly because it's not seen as a threat to their parents, that they want to reach out to genetic siblings rather than uh, an alternative father figure. I'm advocating that we need to have uh, a conversation about how we access openness and transparency and communication between diplings.